Hey everyone, what's up? It's the random name 951 bringing you another um, unpackaging video. See, got my package in the mail. So let's open it up and check it out. Let's see if we can do this. Oh, let me turn off. Can't really turn off the flash. Give me a second. Oh, I'm so buff! Alright, so. Um, uh, excuse me. Alright, so here we go. And it is my Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver Essentials kit I ordered off of eBay. Um, I personally think I got a good price on it. I got this thing for, oh, it got a little damage on the bottom. Hey, what's going on here? Well, it's brand new, but something happened. You can see there's some damage to the box, unfortunately. Something must have went wrong. But it is brand new, so when they're shipping it, it must have just got messed up. Well, looks okay. Don't really care about the box too much. But I think right here you can open it up and see how it looks. It says, return to the scenic Johto region. You get some stylus, you get the scenic wheel. Um, I'm trying to focus, it's not really focusing too well. I'll be back, guys. Alright everyone, I'm back. So I just decided to turn off the flash. Hopefully it gives a little better, clearer picture. As you can see, this is Pokemon Hard Gold Soul Silver Essentials Kit for Nintendo DS. Um, it says only for Nintendo DS and Nintendo DS I. Um, limited edition. Let me show you what comes in the back. You got, uh, what is this damn camera with focus? Okay, there we go. Padded case protects your DS light. Comes with a lot of cool stuff. Um, authentic Kaka. Got the carry case. You got the character stylus, which is pretty cool. Got the game card case, which looks pretty cool. And you got cleaning cloth. Nothing too special there. As you can see, got DS being stored in there. Pretty cool. But for my 3DS, so hopefully it'll work well with that. Probably can go in to open it from the bottom here. Just cut these little tabs and do a clean cut. So let me just get my safety blade real quick. Uh, oh, excuse me. I have some gas. Okay. So I just cut the little tabs right now. So I'm going to unbox this bad boy of a Game Boy case or DS case. So um, you can see the little plastic got damaged, but probably no no damage to the um, to the actual stuff. Got your box. Um, nothing in there. Just you know, a little thing show that you got it and all that. So I'll put that down for now. Get to the good stuff. So we got our styluses here. Um, pretty cool. A cleaning cloth has um, Cinequil, Chikorita, and Toilet Down on it. Pretty cute. Pretty cute. Uh, leave that in there for now. I'll take out one of the styluses. I'll take out um, Chikorita so you can see how it looks. They're pretty big styluses, so it's pretty cool. Pretty nicely detailed. The chicory is like a a rubber plastic. So you got like this is like hard plastic, and then the actual f character is like a nice soft plastic or like a rubber almost. Um, got the little stylus tip. You got Pokemon, Heart Gold, Soul Silver. Pretty nice. And you also <clears throat> you get all three of the starters for a stylus. So you get um. You get Total Dial, the Cinequil, and Chikorita. I think all of them probably Total Dial looks like the coolest. With this little blue stylus. Cinequil looks too happy. Kind of pisses me off. Chikorita looks pretty cool. But I think Total Dial probably the best out of all of them. So put them back in there. I'll move this to the side. And this is what we're kind of looking for. So, um. 
Hey, it looks brand new, but it's got like some wear right there. Like, I don't know. Let's see here. Trying to examine it to see how good it is. It could, it could just be that's how it was made, you know. These cases aren't made very, like, you know, high end and all that. Um, let's see here. You get your little Pokemon thingy. You got a gold uh, Nintendo DS thing. Story games in here. Pretty neat. I think it's a two-sided, which is pretty cool. So you could put games in here, and you could put them in here. I don't think you could put 3DS games, but I could try. Nonetheless, pretty cool. Pretty cool to see how it folds and opens. So it's two-sided. Very cool. A good, uh, good way to make up space. Because I know there's just like one, one like this, and it just opens one way, and then you put all the games in there at once. But this is pretty cool. <coughs> Um, you got storage for your DS that goes in here, just hangs in there, and I believe there's storage right here where you can actually put more games in here, put them in the little sleeves, and um, they're kind of like a hidden compartment almost, pretty cool, so you got your little sleeves and then you can hide it by putting this cloth up here where the velcro is and it's like you can't even see your games. Alright, Maggie. My bad, everyone. So I'm back. And I already showed you what the hell this was. Um, pretty okay. Um, I got this case for $12. I won it in the bid. Um, I think it was $9.99 starting bid. And 2 bucks for shipping, $2.50. Um, I saw one on eBay earlier before I wanted to get half for the guy 25 bucks, Like an idiot. Luckily, he was too, um, too will strong to sell it for that, and uh, he must have sold it for, like, at least 30 bucks, because I think he wanted, like, thirty nine ninety nine for it, plus shipping. I was like, this son of a gun is crazy. So, yeah, so I'm going to just show you how it fits with my 3DS. Hopefully it fits, because I haven't even tried it out. <sighs> right now, I have my 3DS in this little trusty cardboard box. Pretty cool. Pretty cool, huh? Pretty cool. And my little Ray Bands cleaning cloth. Just to show you, it's Ray Bands. I'll open it up. I jacked it for my friend because he didn't use it. Oh my goodness, this is Ray Band. Oh my god, it's worth five dollars. <coughs> so, let's see how well this fits. It looks like it's actually going to be kind of small or it's going to be a tight, tight fit. Let me try to put it in real quick. Like, ooh, baby, you want me? I know what's up here, I'm sure I can't fix it. My goodness. So, it looks like it fits, actually. So, here's, um, I keep my, my DS in, this, in the protective case that I came with. So, um, it doesn't get messed up. It doesn't get scratches. It's quite a, a, a snug fit. I'm not even sure it's going close. And, well, it's closing. So here it is, it closed. Um, I mean, I actually like my little cardboard box better because, you know, I, I lay it flat and there's a lot more room for it. Um, it's a nice case. It's, it's very cushy. You see, there's like a lot of air in there. Very cushy. Um, would I trust it? Protecting it from a fall? I sure as hell hope so. I don't even know if it would take a fall. It's really way too cushy. I feel like it wouldn't be able to absorb a fall or anything. Um, <coughs> this fits pretty snug, but I think it's because I had um, the little protective casing that it came with. So yeah, I'm going to just put that back in there and put in my little safe cardboard box that I use. Because I love it. All I do is just get my cardboard box, get a little lay down thingy, put it in there like that, and it just fits in nice and good in there, and just close it up. That's my box I use for storing my 3DS. It's not much, but I mean, it offers protection from dust and whatever, you know. 
I mean, it does move around, you can hear. Gotta check how, how thick this is. Real quick. Has a pretty good thickness. Um, I'm not sure how well, like I said, how well it would hold up against against if this thing were to fall or something on the concrete. I don't know. There's very few cases I trust with my electronics. And I would have to say this probably wouldn't be one of them. It seems like it wouldn't take a hit or anything. But who knows, I could be wrong. I'm trying to figure out how the heck this goes back on. So yeah guys, um that's gonna be it for this video. I'm just putting it back in the box because I'm not gonna use it right now. I'll just keep it in storage or something. It's too cute to be using it. Too cute to be using this case. <clears throat> so yeah, um, here it is. Again, in its box. Pretty cool, pretty cool. So what does it say? It says, includes internal DS, game card case. All that good stuff in a little cleaning cloth. And you can see it shows told out, you can read it in Cinequil. Pretty cute, pretty cute. Um... I would recommend trying to get this for cheap. This thing is not... Oh, look, you could store the stylus. I didn't know that. I did not know that. Good to know. Good to know. Looks like you only could store two out of three stylus, but it's all good. And they stored probably the coolest ones, which is Chick Rita and Toldow. As you can see, there's a DSi. And it looks like it's a pretty good snug fit. But yeah, guys, Um, like I said... I picked mine up for 12 bucks with shipping included. I honestly wouldn't pay over 15 for this. 15 is even kind of going on the high point. But then again, everything that's Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver is just so damn sky high. It's not even funny. I mean, the game itself, people sell it for 40 bucks. GameStop sells it for $50 used. They're freaking crazy. But yeah, guys, um. Good luck finding yours if you're looking for one. Hopefully you can find one for a decent price. I got mine for a decent price. Um, new, so I'm happy with it. I'll just put it up here for now. It's a little, a little stand. Still trying to sell most of my stuff. Most of the stuff on here is for sale. I'm trying to sell, but haven't had the time to um, put it up on eBay lately. <clears throat> yeah, guys. Um, like I said, um, look for it. It's on eBay. Um, I'm not sure how many are left. They come up once in a while. I know there's a this person who sells just the case alone, like the little little game holder that put um you hold your game in for I think um ten bucks. I think it's used in good condition. She has like about ten or a couple. But I mean um if you're just looking for one, you know, keep an eye out. You'll find it sooner or later. Hopefully for a good price, decent price. And yeah, guys, um, so that's going to be it. Uh, hopefully, you guys liked the video. If you did, leave a like. And stay tuned for more of my videos. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.